Hi everyone, I'm here in the workshop to restore a bass flute head joint. This bass head had hit the floor pretty hard at one time and it's had some previous repair work lifting some of that dent out. The result of the lifting has left a sort of cottage cheese appearance which you often get from dent ball lifting. So I want to restore this to like new condition and, and just finish the job that the previous technician started. We're going to do this over the course of a few short videos and the first video is going to focus on lifting any low spots that still remain. Now one thing I want you to understand also is that this doesn't just apply to bass flute head joints. This applies to any crook on any band instrument. So this can apply to a bottom bow of a saxophone for example or the bell crook of a trumpet. All of these techniques apply across the board. I have a simple process for restoring parts like this. The first step is in lifting any remaining low spots. And I'll carefully examine the part and see if there's anything that can be lifted. And the second step is to blend any high spots down to the low spots so that we're taking the hills and the valleys and bringing them into the same plane. Third step is in strapping and polishing to remove any any abrasions or tool marks, things like this, that keep it from looking like new. And the last step is to refinish the part. In this case, it's a, a silver-plated part, but it could be a lacquered part or something like that. And uh, we'll, we'll replate this part as the final step in the process. Here's those cottage cheese areas that I was describing earlier. That's where the dent was lifted out with dent balls. And dent balls often leave that type of appearance. We want to match the mirror type finish on the sides on this crest here. So we'll take care of that. While I'm examining the area, I'm looking for any low spots and marking them with a Sharpie. I see there's one back here that was probably collateral damage. It didn't get, uh, wasn't part of this dent, but it has another little dent. So it might have bounced on the floor or something. So the first step will be in lifting any low spots that remain. Let's go do that now. I'm using a polished round dent ball to remove the little flat spot in this area. I've got my little magnet indicator. The little flat spots right there. I'm just going to do a little lifting. ready. 